Hey, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sagar Pichapati and in this video, I will be talking about what is filter activity and Azure Data Factory. So before going to the video, I would like to introduce my channel Geek Coders. Here I upload videos on Azure Data Factory, Azure Data Big, SQL, Python, PySpark and so on. So if you are liking my content, you can subscribe to my channel and share with your friends so that everyone will get benefited. So let's go to the today's video. So let me open my Azure Data Factory and here you can see I have nothing. So what I will do now, I will create a new pipeline by clicking on the new pipeline button and then and then I will write here some name, proper name, okay, filter. And now in this activity option, in the activity pane, I will choose here filter activity, okay, which I have to take it. Now what I will do, if I click on the setting button, then it is asking these two things, active items and condition. So items means we have to pass something in the array and then we have to write a condition over on top of this item list. You can say item list, okay. So for that, what I will do, I will create one parameter, parents, and here I make it this array type. And here I give one array. So let's say this is A, comma, this is B, comma, this is C. Okay. And in the filter condition, in the setting, I will go and write down this parameter. I am calling this parameter. And here in the condition, filter condition, I will write one script or one statement is that uh, I will use equal method equals and here I write item. Okay. Item. And then this item, this item, comma is equal to a or not do we have items also no okay that's it now i am trying to run this so now what will happen see we have this parameter right we have this parameter parent so it will go here it will go here and then it will check whether this i uh, equal item a or not okay it will check like this so if I go to my output uh, option, then you can see item count is three, filter item count is one, only one is filtered and value is A. Okay, what if, if I change, if I change this value, will it work? Let's see. Now we will have B as an output. If I debug it, So it doesn't mean that you need to uh, you need to use this filter in with array only. You can give uh, you you can give a string also. Okay. So now it got run. If you if I click on it, then the value is B. Okay. So what I will do now? I will change this into a string, and we will see whether we can do it or not. Whether we can use this filter activity or not. So I will remove everything here and I just pass here A. Now if I try to run, you can see this string does not match the name item. Okay. This is the warning it is showing. Let me run it and we will see. We will see whether it, it, it will work or not. So, okay, it got failed. See the output is. The error is a form property value in the query action input is of a string type. So what you can do, what you can do, you can just convert this into this array, nothing else. And click on OK and then debug it. Now it will work because this item has to be in array format because this is the list. Now if I click on output button, then you can see item count is 1, filtered item count is 0 and value is also 0. Why it is happening? Because this condition is not getting passed. Okay, if I give here A, then it will pass. If I click on OK button and then again if I click on uh, debug, then you can see we will have the output 1. So sometimes what happens, you know, you need to filter out your uh, file names or you need to filter out your uh, 
uh, tables name in such a way that you know if this table is present you have to skip or you have to uh, you have to you will not have to run a subsequent pipeline so for that you can use this filter activity okay so i hope till now you have understood what is filter activity and moving forward i will be talking about what is a switch activity until activity and so on and we will we will see the real time scenario also in that so um,